that the determinant of A is the sum of a whole lot of terms. And what are those terms? And, and is it a plus or a minus sign? And I have to tell you which, which it is. Because this came in, in the three by three case, I had how many terms? Six. And half were plus and half were minus. How many terms are you figuring for four by four? If I get two terms in the two by two case, three ter six terms in the three by three case, what's that pattern? How many terms in the four by four case? Twenty-four. Four factorial. Why, why four factorial? This would be a sum of n factorial terms. 24, 120, 720, whatever is after that. OK. Half plus and half minus. And where do those n factorial co terms come from? This is the moment to listen to this lecture. Where do those n factorial terms come from? They come because the first, the guy in the first row can be chosen n ways. And after he's chosen, that's used up that, that column. So the one in the second row can be chosen n minus one ways. And after she's chosen, that se uh, second column has been used. And then the one in the third row can be chosen n minus two ways, and after it's chosen, notice how I'm getting these personal pronouns, but I've run out. Uh, and I'm not willing to stop with three by three, so I'm just going to write the formula down. So the one in the first row comes from some column alpha. I don't know what alpha is. And the one in the set, I multiply that by somebody in the second row that comes from some different column. And I multiply that by somebody in the third row who comes from some yet different column. And then in the nth row, uh, I don't know what to, I don't know how to draw. Maybe omega for last. And the whole point is then that that those column numbers are different. That alpha, beta, gamma, omega, that set of column numbers is some permutation, permutation of one to n. It, it, the n column numbers are each used once. And that gives us n factorial terms. And when I choose a term, that means I'm choosing somebody from every row and column. And then I just multiply, like the way I had this from row and column one, row and column two, row and column three. So that, what was the alpha, beta stuff in that, for that term here? Alpha was one, beta was two, gamma was three. The permutation was was the trivial permutation, one, two, three, everybody in the right order. You see that formula? It's, you see why I didn't want to start with that the first day, Friday. I'd rather we understood the properties, because out of this formula, presumably, I could figure out all these properties. H how would I know that the determinant of the identity matrix was one, for example? out of this formula. Why is, if A is the identity matrix, how does this formula give me a plus one? You, you see it, right? Because almost all the terms are zeros. Which term isn't zero if, if A is the identity matrix? Almost all the terms are zero because almost all the A's are zero. It's only, the only time I'll get something is if it's A11 times A22 times A33, only, only, the, only the permutation that's in the right order will, will give me something. It'll come with a plus sign, and the determinant of the identity is 1. So 